What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up and use Namey Wallet. First thing you'll have to do, you'll have to go to namewallet.io and I will leave a link in the description below. Namey Wallet is available on Chrome, Brave and Edge browser. So you'll have to use one of those browsers for this video tutorial. I'm going to be using Chrome and then we just have to press on Chrome. Then this window is going to appear right here. We need to press on add to Chrome and then add an extension. OK, once extension is going to be added, we'll have to press on this little puzzle. And then in here, we need to pin if it's not going to be pinned automatically. And that's it. Now we're going to be able to see Namey Wallet here and we can close this window. So now we need to press on Namey Wallet. Then this window is going to appear. There is two options, one of them to create new wallet and import one. If you already have Cardano wallet, then you can press on import. And if you don't have a wallet, you'll just have to press on new wallet. That's what I'm going to do. Then accept terms of use and then press on continue. And then this window is going to appear. This is going to be your seed phrase for this video tutorial. I'm not going to blur my seed phrase because I'm not really going to use this wallet after the video. I'm just going to delete. But in your case, don't ever share with anybody because they'll have full access to your wallet. And then we're just going to have to copy somewhere and then press. I've stored this seed phrase in a secure place and then press next. Then you can verify or I'm going to skip for right now. And then now we need to come up with a name. I'm just going to type a the wallet. And then we need to come up with the password. And then password one more time. And then press on create. And that's it. Successfully created wallet. Now we can close this window. And if we go back to our wallet, this is going to be your default window. So there's a couple options here. First one by default is going to be set to assets. So this is your Cardano balance. And if you will have any ADA, then there is going to be like another tab over here is going to state how many ADA do you have. And if you're going to have any other tokens on Cardano network, they're going to appear automatically over here. You don't have to find or search additional tokens automatically they will appear over here. Then if you press on this like a game console controller, this is going to be your collectibles. So for example, if you will have some kind of NFTs or land or something that you're going to be purchasing with this wallet or from here, then once you send your ADA, then you'll receive your NFT or land in here. And then the last tab right here, this is your history. Basically right here, you're going to be able to see every single transaction that happened. If any ADA arrive to your wallet or you send it somewhere or anything like that is going to be appear over here. Then the next thing, if we press on receive, this is going to display our Cardano address. And if you need to share it with somebody, you can just press on this little copy and it's going to copy this address and then you can paste or somebody can scan this with the QR code scanner. The next is send. If you press on send by default, you'll see this right here. That's where you'll have to type ADA address to the one that you're going to be sending funds. And for example, it's paste this one. This is mine right here. You'll have to set amount. How much ADA would you like to send? And for example, if you would have any kind of other tokens, like say, for example, Sunday or any other tokens, then you would just have to press on this little asset button and you would have to choose which one. And then there would be an option how much of those specific tokens you would like to send. Also, keep in mind, since this is Cardano network to send any kind of tokens on Cardano network, you have to have Cardano in your wallet because that's what you're going to use to pay for gas fees. And then if we go back, next thing we have, we have delegate. If we press on delegate, what we can do here, basically, we can stake our Cardano ADA to Berry Pool and then we'll get approximately 5% staking reward per year. You'll have to type your password here and then how much ADA would you like to stake? And then another options here is on the top right corner, this little logo. If we press on it, this is going to appear. So this is our default account. If we would like to create more accounts in our Name your wallet. We can do that simply by just pressing on new account. And then we just have to come up with a name. Let's say second wallet. And then type your password. And then press on create. And then it's going to create another wallet. So once we're going to press right here, we're going to see Ada wallet and then second wallet. And for example, if you create it by accident or you don't need it anymore, you can delete it over here. 
Then if we press on this icon again, right here, we can connect hardware wallet. So if we press on it, if we would have Trezor or Ledger, you just choose which one you have, connect to your computer and then press on connect and you would be able to access your hardware wallet using Namey wallet. Then we have collateral. So collateral, we have to add five ADA as a collateral. If for example, you are using Sunday swap or any kind of swap and then you decide to cancel your transaction or something like that, you have to have some kind of collateral in order to interact with the smart contract on Cardano. And for example, let's say once you got done using and you're not planning to use your Namey wallet for anything else, you can always take this collateral and put it back in your wallet. And then the last thing is settings right here. So in settings, there is general settings. So right here, you can change the name then you can change this icon to whatever you want. And then we can set to dark mode. And then by default, it's going to set to USD as a currency. We can change this to Euro. Then if we go back right here, white listed sites, if you press on it, it's going to show you which sites are connected to your wallet. So for example, let's say, let's go to Sunday swap. And then we're going to open app. Then this one, those gonna appear. And let's say, for example, connect to wallet, naming. And then you press on access. That's how you're gonna be connecting to any kind of swap or exchanges. That's it. And if we go back here, and if we go back to settings, and then whitelisted sites, you will see exchange.sundayswap.finance is whitelisted. And that's how you're gonna be able to use your Namey wallet on Sunday swap or maybe Musela swap or on any other swaps. And then once you get done, you can always disconnect or just basically by pressing on this X, this is gonna disconnect from site. And maybe this window is gonna appear. If you're still on that site, you can press on cancel. And now you're not gonna be connected to any site. And then the last thing is network right here by default it's going to be set to mainnet and for example if there is going to be like some kind of exchange or maybe another application that's going to be in a test net and you're just going to try to use that application you'll have to switch this to test net just because so you can test that specific application if it's still in a test net phase and that's it we can go back general and you can change it always back to light keep it to whatever you like and this is pretty much it if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.